All right, here we go. The map is Destination. We have Zowzi at 12 o'clock with Teal Zerg. And down at 6, we have Hydra with the Yellow Terran. Okay, so it's a one-on-one -on -one map. They both know where the opposing player is starting. We did see a rather one-sided game before with Hydra just out-muscling his opponent. This could be a very different game, though. Again, defiler play is really rewarded on a map like this. You can hold off your opponent for almost forever. Um, a lot of this will also depend on what type of opening they chose. Remember that last game, Zowzi went for three hatcheries. Before spawning pool, I doubt we're going to see that in this game. Indeed, uh, I think that we're going to see a totally different take on this map by Zowzi. I really am expecting a two hatchery play because that natural is very hard to defend against two hatchery mutalisks. And in fact, this is one of the maps that Cole took off of Hydra with two two hatchery mutalisk play. You know that natural, very hard as I said, coming up and down the ramp very hard, and the mutas just kind of have free reign to run around everywhere. Yeah, it's really hard to get a good turret ring that's going to hold off everything. And you have to make so many turrets in Terran versus Zerg to hold off a two-hatch Mutalisk rush. It's almost unreal, especially when you're against a player like Zowzi who just has such good control. However, if Zowzi does go for the two-hatch Mutalisks and Greg has surprisingly good defense, which is certainly a feasible thing, um, it'll be very, very tough then for Zowzi, who has all these Mutalisks and hasn't done any damage. He's going to have to make a quick switch and expand right away. Yeah, and, uh, you know, this is a map that is actually very good for mechanic against Zerg. But I, I don't know if we're going to see Hydra really do that. We do see that he is, in fact, walling in. This is a Zergling tight wall, and basically no units can run through here. He can defend it with one Marine, even against Infinity Zerglings, as long as he repairs. And uh, oftentimes you'll see this when he is, in fact, uh, going for a quick gas. But he is not doing the gas, so I think he's just walling in to give Zowzi less information to be more safe against any sort of Zergling rushes. And we will see a fast command center here as well. The smarter the player, the less information you want him to see. Because when you get somebody smart like Zowzi who's going to see that, he's immediately going to take that information, compute it into a good build order that he can use to counter whatever you're doing. So keeping Zowzi in the dark is definitely the way to go. Note that the extractor inside of Hydra's main base is kind of on the outside, unlike the extractor in the other main base. So he can send an overlord in there and take a peek and figure out, okay, is he possibly going to mech or not? Yeah, he can. And, uh... It looks like Zowzi is, in fact, going for a two-hatch rebuild. If you take a quick look at his main base, he already has the gas up way before the pool. That means as soon as that pool pops, he's going to go for a layer. And that's going to give him just very, very fast mutalisks. Uh, unless he's doing something really tricky like another Lurker build, but I really do not foresee that. With these little tiny bridges going over to the natural, very easy for Hydra to hold. Okay, we're going to see the layer pop up momentarily. And, um, oh, excuse me, Zergling Speed first. I did not quite expect that. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. But, you know, he wants to get some sort of rush strategy in here, I guess. See if he can do some damage. Unfortunately for him, Hydra has a wall in. He will not be affected by these speedlings until he decides to leave his main base. We don't know if that Overlord um, at the bottom of the map here got a shot of the command center. If he does, then he has a very good idea of what's going on. Now remember, we did see Zergling Speed upgraded first, so if he got Zergling Speed, um, he can use that to overwhelm Hydra if Hydra, Hydra attempts to go for an expansion. Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, Hydra sometimes does walk down ramps too quick, too, uh, too bravely, in fact. He's used to playing these macro games, and that may work in Zowzi's favor. Zowzi's, of course, also watching the barracks and seeing how many Marines are actually being made out of that. Is my opponent going to go for fast rates or anything else like that? Of course, in this case, Hydra isn't, but that's just another piece of intel that Zowzi is gathering right now to get a good idea um, of what's going on. Because, of course, Zowzi, one of the hardest players to play against, one of the hardest names uh, to say out there, by the way. I know a lot. I have of... been mispronounced. I could not figure out how to say that since you know I saw him playing about eight years ago. Yeah, he's, I've just always called him Zowzi in my head. That's what it looks like with those letters yeah, in maybe, my language. Maybe uh, it's <laughs> you know people have said it's like Shaosu or something like that, but I don't don't really know. I do not speak Chinese, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I like to call him Zowzi, man. I think that sounds really cool, and he's always been that in my mind. That's uh, it's not a bad reason. Okay, now, the command center is floating down here. Remember, we saw Zergling speed first before the layer. A few Zerglings edge down here. We get a shot of the Zerg's main up here. Um, we do see that the layer is finished and the spire is on the way, halfway complete. 
And here Hydra goes down that ramp, but the Zergling's only four of them down there. It looks like he's almost just trying to scare Hydra and sneaking one in, but it looks like it gets cut. So he is not going to get much info aside from the fact that there are two barracks in there. Okay, we do have an expansion now on low ground. And uh, we're kind of waiting to see how good Zowzi's Muta Micro is going to be um, when those Mutalists finally pop out. Also note, there's an expansion coming up here. So if Hydra opts to attack, he could potentially take that out. Yes, he could. And uh, the Spire, it is done. The Mutalists, they are a Morphin. And, uh, well, six of them Morphin right now. Hydra moving out with his Marine Medic group in the middle. And who's that, Tasteless? That's the Panda Bear guy. Yes, it he's is. of course a big poker player himself. That's why he's here at the uh, the, the uh, TSL. Yeah, the PokerStrategy.com you know, poker TSL. Even. TSL. Yeah. Um, but he's gonna go on tilt if he gets killed this game. Um, <laughs> okay, the Mutalisks are out. He's of course gonna group those with one Overlord. That forces the Mutalisks to bunch together, not just because an Overlord's in the group for some magical reason, but because the Overlord will be on the other side of the map. So that'll allow him to do a lot of damage. Here we now go. Watch out right here. Ooh, he almost <laughs> runs the Mutas into the Marines, and losing even one mute at this time is really deadly. Okay, the Marines are edging forward up to the upper left. He could actually take out this expansion if Hydra opts to. Um, he's being very cautious, though. And we have a few more Mutalisks up here. I believe the number's going to be up to 10. Yeah, you know, he's going to keep on collecting those Mutas, but he has got to make sure he does not lose that third base. It's a pretty quick third base, so if he holds on to it, he's going to be in decent position no matter what. Now, Hydra right now, if we take a quick look at his main, he's got that three Raxes. He's got his plus one upgrade going on that engineering bay. And he's got pretty good turret cover overall. You know, a couple in the main behind his minerals, a couple near the ramp, some at the expansion. So he's pretty safe if he keeps on putting on pressure with these Marines. Salzy can't really attack into him yet. You know what? A lot of Zerlings and um, Mutas are coming down here, so he's not focusing too much on uh, drones of that expansion. Ooh. But if this group of Medic Marine gets overwhelmed here, it could be very detrimental. And he's going to move down on the ramp. Very nice wall here with the Medics. Oh, my God. It, however, it does look like... Uh, excuse me. I thought he was actually going to do a lot um, more damage there. Zowzi yeah. was, but he miscontrolled the Mutalisks. That little uh, Medic wall, that was kind of a big deal, man. That... If he had hit that just right and crushed that group and not lost any mutas, Zazu would be in quite a good position right now. You know, he's got the three bases up, and, you know, killing that group, Hydra then can't put any pressure on. But now Hydra still has plenty of Marines, plenty of medics, and, ah, more damage being done to those mutas as they try to fly away. Really nice control here by Hydra. He's been very patient. He's letting Zauzi, uh make the mistakes here and run into his army. Um, and of course, Hydra with perfect control is just outdoing his opponent. We see almost five barracks complete here. The factory on the way. He was actually focusing on a pressure build. That's why we see so many barracks is done here. And uh, he's going to push in there pretty quickly. Lurkers, um, I believe, are going to be on the way if we get a shot of the Hydralis den. I don't know if you guys got a shot of it. Well, we, we weren't sure if it's been upgraded or not. Yeah, he's got the den up, but it looks like he is really putting a lot of money into his mutalisks. He just keeps making them, and he hasn't even started the uh, hive yet, which is odd. And here we go, the mutas engaging with some extra zerglings, but I don't know, there we go. The zerglings have a nice little surround there, and he will, in fact, clean up this group, keeping that third base alive. So Zowzi now looking in pretty decent position overall, but you know what? His, his hive tech is very slow. At the same time, I just starport is very slow, so... They're just kind of trading one for one here with the lower tech units. I think Idra expected his opponent to switch to the Lurker tech. That would have given him an ample opportunity to move into that expansion and clean it up. But no, um, Idra, uh, unfortunately, uh, made the wrong choice. Didn't scan and see any Lurkers in the main, uh, which might have helped him there. And now it looks like Zauzi's going to have control of the map. Speaking of Lurkers, we have Hydralisks now at the main expansion. So that's going to be morphed into Lurkers pretty soon here. Yeah, I hope so, man. He doesn't want to be walking around with Hydras. Those are no good against Marine Medic. But uh, we look, take a quick look in Hydra's main here. He's got the 6 Barrett going up. He's got the Starport going. He's got a second eBay going. The science facility being made. The factory getting its add-on. The Mutas right now, they are harassing all over the place, killing some of these. Uh, oh, look at this. Trying to get that science facility. If he can make that cancel, that is a pretty big deal because science facility takes a while to build, and it's already kind of slow. Yeah, he can't uh, get that vessel out to use a radiate to drive out the mutalisks. But again, um, I question if this is really turning out to be worth it. Um, mutalisks have taken a lot of damage. 
Hydra very focused on moving up here in the middle of the map, as we can see. Also note that Lurkers are in place, so he could potentially use um, the hold position Lurker bug, since there is no vessel in play here. That's right, you know, it's very dangerous at this stage in the game to be walking around with Marine Medic. But, uh, you know, hopefully Hydra can react quick enough that this won't matter. Here come the bugs coming in at an angle. Uh, Stim is on the way. One nice snipe there by Hydra. He could get across the bridge. That would be huge. Um, he is going to turn and actually just dart across. Here we go. He is on the other side. I don't know if these lurkers are going to be able to get over there and help out. Um, one lurker on the way. Stim kills yet another one. Spreading him. Nice micro right there by Hydra. But he is down to just two Marines. But these two Marines are enough to really hurt these drones. The drones having to run away. Losing one drone. Losing a second drone. And this is just going to be annoying for Zazzy to deal with. And he is going to lose a lot of mining time because of it as well. He does stim. It doesn't look like that lurker is going to be picked up. In fact, finally Zazzy holds off that attack. Um, I think Hydra probably expected to do a little bit more damage. Um, with that, he did spot the Queen's Nest, so if he hasn't scanned them in already, he knows the Hive is on the way. Yes, indeed, the Hive is on the way, but Hydra has science vessels making. He has two eBays going. He has really good upgrades overall, good defense, but he has not started third base. It looks like he is just going to go and continue to pressure. He's kept Zowzi's unit count down pretty well. Uh, so, you know, it's... Looks like I think that Hydra right now is still in a dominating position. Well, he picked off so many lurkers with these small num numbers of units. And um, the Mutalisks, of course, are not really much of a factor anymore. So as long as he keeps his vessel over here, he could finally wipe out that third base. A lot of times we see Terrence push towards the main right now, but since the expansion of the main are about equal distance, it might as well not hurt to just go for that. But we'll see. He may change his mind up here and go for the main. Also note, Zowzi has a small number of units that could be used to counterattack. And it looks like he is going to counterattack. He's got three lurkers and some speedlings. But Idra's main attack up here, look at this, up at Zowzi's bridge. He is killing all the morphing lurkers. And Zowzi is just not going to have any defense after this. He only has one sunken other than this, loses all those lurkers. And right now it's looking like Zowzi has no outs. I don't see what on earth um, Zowzi can do right now. It's pretty much over. He's into the main. He's going to take out the Spire and the Hive. No problem. You can see that Zowzi's units are coming up from the south here to try to clean that up. And uh, here we go. It does not look like it's going to be very effective at all. Nice control here by Hydra. I think that's going to be GG. I don't think there's really anything else you can do to recover. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Poor Zowzi. Hydra really does have his number, you know. Uh, I thought that Zowzi may take a game off Hydra, but now I think I may, in fact, have to withdraw that. But, you know, who knows? The next map is Outsider. But as for this game on Destination, it is all but over. We are basically just waiting for Zowzi to give the GG. He has no units left. And things are not looking bright. We are watching this game. It is like witnessing murder. Um, Zowzi really was pretty much crushed here. Hydra just has very, very strong, solid standard play. So, um, I mean, there's not really a whole lot else you could say other than that. You can see nice defensive matrix usage. Very good micro in involving keeping that science uh, vessel alive. So, uh, there you go. GG any second. We're going to be going on to game number three. Yes, we are. Uh, as long as Zalzi wants to actually leave the game. There we go. GG and Hydra up 2-0. All right, well, you know, we saw two really impressive games by Hydra there. Nothing Zalzi doing seeming to work. And so let's take a look at the next map, Outsider. In Outsider, excuse me, is a very interesting map. Um, it's one of these maps where you have, it's, let me put it like this, it's a land map, but it can also be an island map. It'll turn into more of a land map as the game progresses. Along the edge of the map, you have these expansions, which are really only accessible by air. Some units can be bugged through the mineral patches, but yeah, for the most part, it's pretty damn hard to get back there. Uh, Zerg can easily get two extractors off one base, so that's something that's going to be very tough for Terran to deal with. Yes, you know, uh, Outsider, if Zowzi can just, you know, take that quick expansion, as we know he's going to do, uh, you know, get enough Sunkins up that he can hold it off, and then glitch some drones through, take those extra gas bases, uh, I could see him possibly taking this map. You know, Ija definitely has been outplaying him, but with that extra gas, you know, you just you make some Guardians if they're trying to go tanks against you. If not, you just rush up to Defiler and Ultra, 
And, you know, oftentimes that is enough to just put you ahead of a Terran, even if they are a better player. Well, I think if there's a game that um, Zowzi could take from Idra, this would be the map it's going to happen on. But we don't know yet because um, Idra's been playing with the best of the best. He certainly doesn't seem to have any weaknesses so far. Unbelievable micro, actually some of the best micro I've ever seen coming from him. And his macro and strategy and timing are just impeccable. Indeed they are. Well, you know what? Without further ado, I think it is time. Tasteless, are you ready for game number three? Let's do this.